What's going on everyone? Welcome to State of the Realms, your weekly news update for everything Camelot Unchained. I'm your host, Swiper, and today I'll be summarizing your weekly update for 426 2019. There are a lot of work in progress slash tech and questions today, so I will go over five of my favorite for each category. Alright, starting with number one, work in progress, optimizations plus design. So Mark goes on to talk about how nowadays, games are more CPU intensive rather than GPU intensive. This is because of optimizations. He talks about how they are working on the rebuilding of meshes, how buildings get destroyed, and a few other things. He says that the tests have been great and it's been moving along quite well. A couple other things they've been working on are new scenarios, new siege engines, and also doors. Alright, number two. This is a work in progress for tech support abilities. So this is pretty straightforward. The foundation for support class abilities are being worked on. Once these components are in, they can move to the rest of the uh, support class abilities. So what does that mean? More progress for support classes. Yeah! Moving on to number three, UI crafting. So progress was made on the crafting UI ingredient changes section. So what does this mean? This change allows for more flexible recipe rules. This was the final step needed to add changes to the recipe system. So if you're a crafter and you're interested in crafting, stick around because we have a lot more information in the Q&A section. All right, number four, infusion items. So here is another crafting update. Mark goes on to talk about how the crafting system in this game is extremely robust. There are many things to play with, infusions being one of them. Infusions will help crafting manipulate items like weapons and armor. So I'm not sure what infusions will entail, but we seem to be getting new updates each week on crafters, so I'm sure we'll hear more. All right, and the last one, work in progress, the post office. So if you're unfamiliar with the post office, it's just a generic term, and this is just talking about the message uh, sending system in the game. So essentially, Mark talks about how this is being worked on. He also talks about how optimization for the potential load of players is being planned. So th this system is used in the scenario system that you might you know, be used to, or just in general when you log into the game. Um, and since he brought scenarios up, he talks about how scenarios won't be part of the main game. And the only reason why they're utilizing scenarios so much is for data collection and to find bugs. He also talks about how at this point, it wouldn't make sense to have a giant world where people could run around and eventually find each other. This would make tracking bugs much harder because of the time that it would take a player to find another player, and it would slow down the process. Alright, moving to the Q&A section. So, there were a lot of great questions this time around, and I would love to go over all of them. But for the sake of timing, I'll only go over five. Maybe what I'll do next week is make a separate video for some of the questions I missed. This way, if you're interested, you can check them out and I can keep these videos under 10 minutes. Okay, starting with question number one. Will the crafting class be in before beta two? And a straightforward answer is yes. So if you're wondering why I included this question, I know crafting has been a big thing for players and they're wondering oh what's going on with crafting give me more information uh so i just wanted to ease people's nerves for any reason people thought this was going to get pushed off it doesn't sound like it is so i think we're in good shape here when it comes to the crafters okay moving on to question number two will we be testing the new abilities in the current scenario or a new scenario so the new abilities will be tested in the new scenario and not the current scenario. The current scenario is meant for a stress test. They want us to test the new abilities in a new scenario that will be more fun. They also said that the ability builder is in review today and or early next week. So when it passes, we should see it fairly soon. Okay, moving on to question number three. Are shapeshifters still planned for after launch? And is anything being pushed for after launch? So this one was pretty simple. Nothing for launch has been pushed back. What was said originally for launch has not changed. For anyone new listening, 
Camelot Unchained gave us a list of classes that were available for release. These include the Devout, the Healer, the Archer, the Heavy Fighter, the Mage, the Support, and the Crafters. Okay, question number four. How do you see future content and player progression? So this response was kind of long, so I'll do my best to summarize it. Uh, so Mark says future content will consist of extender packs and expansion packs. Extender packs are free content you'll receive by just playing the game, you know, aka having a subscription. Expansion packs are like what we're used to, something that comes out every two years or so. Okay, last but not least, question number five. Will death have a consequence? So Mark goes on to talk about a couple of his thoughts here, so I'll try and break it down. To answer the question, death will have a consequence? Yes. One of his theories is a corpse run. He says that a corpse run can be used as a consequence, but if the corpse run is short, then it isn't much of a consequence. He also talks about how they want to make sure that there is a balance. He doesn't want a player to lose their gear when they die because that in turn will prevent some players from fighting. He also wants the player who gets the kill to receive a benefit. So overall, it sounds like he wants to create a system that allows participation and also creates a sting when you die. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for me today. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you want weekly updates, hit that subscribe button. If there's anything you're interested in, please let me know. Also, one last thing. During the last broadcast, I tried to ask a question concerning different skin tones for character creation. I saw that question on one of the Reddit posts. Uh, so they weren't able to answer it, probably because there's so many questions being thrown at them at one time. Uh, so I'll try next week. But other than that, bye for now. and I'll talk to you all next week.